my birthday weekend. <laughs> Belle brought out a balloon and cupcakes. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe. Good morning, you guys. It's actually Saturday. It is November 5th, and it's my birthday weekend. Tomorrow's my birthday. Dennis works tomorrow, so we're pretty much hanging out today. And tonight we're going axe throwing to go to breakfast. I need to take some medicine because I've been sick the past couple days. I feel much better, but still have a little bit of like a sore throat or something going on. So I'm gonna take some medicine. We're gonna get breakfast and then I think go to Peddler's Village, which is like this cute little town. They have an apple festival this weekend. And then, like I said, tonight we're going axe throwing with a bunch of our friends. Super excited, so let's go. Sunday, November 6th. It is my birthday. Sorry yesterday may have been like all over the place. I know I didn't like stop to chat with you guys at all. Today's Sunday and Dennis just left for work unfortunately. I'm doing a workout class with my friend slash personal trainer at 845. It's one of her hit classes. I did one like a few weeks ago. And then I'm getting breakfast with my dad. Um, I did get a few gifts yesterday. I did not expect anything from anyone because everyone paid to go axe throwing. So I really just wanted to like spend time with everyone. But a few people did get me a few things. So I wanted to do a little haul because they're so thoughtful and cute so I wanted to show you guys because it was just so sweet all right this isn't the best angle but it's gonna do Julia has been telling me to read this book forever so she got me this and I'm very excited to read it um, it's one true loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. very very excited for that she just gave me also a few little gift cards so thank you so much this one is for Barnes & Noble and then this one is for Starbucks so very excited about that my friend Michaela also got me a card and she gave me a gift card to our favorite coffee place that we go to literally every weekend. So, super thoughtful. I just love how like thoughtful all these are. They're really, really cute. We go axe throwing and my friend is like, I have a gift for you but I left it in the car because I don't know if you're going to be able to take it home because you're on the bike. So, I was like, I can always like hold it. But, anyway, Annie and Josh ended up like bringing everything back for us because they live around the corner and just dropped everything off last night but this tell me how you guys this is so sweet she got me this full basket with all these little goodies so I just want to show you guys what's in it this is from Zach and Christina starting off there's some really cute like fall um kitchen towels this one it says like falling leaves autumn skies chilly nights warm bonfires cozy sweaters pumpkin spice and then this one says grateful and it has like a pumpkin and like some cute little leaves and there's a matching like dishcloth that is green with like the leaves and then there are some oven mitts that match as well and they're just so cute so I thought that was really cute and thoughtful and there are four claw clips these are so cute you guys I need like updated ones so I'm very excited for these there's a green one a brown one a like more tan one and then this like clear I don't even know what color I want to say that is like orangey gold like, I don't even know but you could see 
super cute very excited also very me so i love that and then there is this dr teal's body cream very excited i've never tried any dr teal stuff there's a candle super excited kitchen spice it smells so good i love any like spicy um like fall candles and then there is a tree hut sugar scrub and coconut lime just this basket is perfect for like above the toilet or something i don't know i'm very excited so i just want to thank everyone because those gifts were so thoughtful i'm very very thankful and then also um this morning annie sent me a starbucks gift card too she was like go get yourself some starbucks so thank you to her and josh as well um and obviously just anybody who came last night and spent time with me is more than enough. So I love you all so, so much. Just got home from the HIT class. It was so much fun, except like I woke up with really bad cramps this morning. So I was like dying. It was so sweet though. Belle brought out a balloon and cupcakes and everyone sang to me and it was so cute and I'm just so thankful. It was so sweet. I was going to go out to breakfast with my dad afterwards, but I just really don't feel good, unfortunately. So I asked him if we could reschedule and of course he said yes. So, home now. I'm gonna like pick up the house a little bit, just like from everything from yesterday that's all over. And then probably just relax because I just need to like lay down. Dennis came home from work early today, which was nice. And like I said, I just had cramps, wasn't feeling too well. So we kind of just hung out here. We went to my cousin's food truck and got some lunch. Um, and then we came home and just kind of like hung out here. He has a little like end of the year party for the haunted Halloween attraction he was working at tonight. So he is going there for like an hour or so. So, he left, and you guys, I didn't go to Starbucks earlier today because I wasn't feeling well, and I don't want to not get my birthday reward, so I was like, I need to go get something, but it's, like, late, so am I going to regret this? Maybe, but I'm also, like, the type of person I feel like who could drink a cup of coffee and go right to sleep, so hopefully that's the case, but I don't know if that's going to happen tonight. Nothing like super fancy. I just got a grande ice caramel brulee latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and it is really good. I don't know if I've ever had this before. I probably had it last year but really good. I really like it. Our friends Luke and Hillary weren't able to make it axe throwing last night because they were in DC so they're coming home today. So they asked if we wanted to get dinner so we might do that or we're supposed to do that once they get home and a little bit after Dennis goes to his party so probably like seven or so also the time went back last night which I did not know was happening and all these clocks are wrong and it's really throwing me off Iron Hill Brewery seven o'clock we have to leave in like a half hour let's get ready I am pretty much ready to go I just have to like touch up my hair but this is the outfit doesn't really make sense because it's like 70 something degrees outside. It's like abnormally hot this weekend, which is nice, but also I'm like, how do I dress? So I'm wearing these over the knee boots because I don't love these jeans. They're super old and like super ripped, but I don't really have any other like tight jeans that I think would look like nice tonight. So I'm wearing these, black bodysuit, just a little like button down shirt. And I did like no makeup. Basically, I brushed on my eyebrows, put on mascara, and I put on like some powders and stuff. But it'll probably all come off because I decided, well, I agreed to take the bike with Dennis. So, I need to throw in some earrings. I put on some rings. I just wanted to say I love these claw clips. Hopefully it looks as good as like it feels, but like it feels like it's holding my hair so well and I have like a lot of hair. So, and it feels like secure. So that's awesome. Also, I almost finished that coffee. So, um, and I think the energy is hitting me. So hopefully after dinner, it starts to like wind down so I can get some sleep tonight because I have 
such a busy week of work ahead of me and I just know it so I need to get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah.